Hey guys, it's Dana. Welcome back to Kay's Place. So, I know it's been a while since I've done video. Um, I'm going to have a project to share for you guys here soon. Um, I'm doing a swap on Esther Luca's channel and I have a huge project to share for you guys on a, it's called a memory hoop. Uh, it's a embroidery, an altered embroidery hoop and a mini album. So, I have a project to share for you guys coming up real soon on that and I have a huge haul for you guys. So I've kind of been storing this up because I've been super, super busy at home with a lot of things and I haven't had a chance to come on and film. And so I've got quite a few things I've been storing up to share with you guys and I need to get it put away in my craft space. So I thought I better get on here and share it with you guys so I can get it put away. I've got some things from Target and Walmart, Tuesday morning and Hobby Lobby. So. I'm going to start with Walmart and we'll just go down the line. So I picked up these picks from Walmart and there are five picks in here and these are white and red hearts. And so that's what they look like. And I just got these to put in my hoop as just a little filler. My hoop is pink. So I picked these up. I think somebody had maybe wanted more red than white because I didn't see another package that had all these white hearts in it. So I think maybe somebody had kind of taken some out and put some in, but I'm not complaining because I actually like the white ones better. So there's only one red one in this whole package. So I'm kind of happy with that. And so they were just uh, 98 cents. So not a bad deal. Then, um, Dollar Tree had some of the mini gel pens for, but they were all Valentine's Day related. And I like the idea in case I decided to make a traveler's notebook or like one of the little mini um, sticky notepads or something, but they were all Valentine's Day themed. And I found this pack of 12 at Walmart and they aren't Valentine's Day themed. They're just multicolored. And so I went ahead and picked these up and there's two pink, two purple, two blue, two green, two orange, and two red. So I went ahead and picked those up. They were just $1.98, so it's a dollar more, but they're not themed. So I just went ahead and picked those up to have. Then I picked up these two sticky note or uh, magnetic notepads. They do have hearts on them, but I guess you could use them any time of the year. They are mason jars and they are just so cute. So I like that. I'm going to stick that in my um, swap partner's uh, box for Valentine's Day. I thought that was so cute. And then I just got an extra one to have on hand because I liked it so well. Uh, the little design was so cute. Then I picked up these Valentine's Day treat bags with ties. And I just like the wooey. Okay. There goes that camera again. This phone's supposed to be so advanced, but it gets blurrier than my old one used to ever. So, there is the design on those, and there are 15 in there for 98 cents. So, I liked those. Then, I picked up these stickers to include with her package of stuff, and I just thought they were so adorable. There's 31 pieces, and they're foiled stickers. They're just really cute. Sorry about that glare. See if you can see them a little bit better. They're just adorable little stickers. So I picked those up. Then I thought I had only picked up two packages of these, but apparently I picked up three. But these are good for, some of these are good for any time of the year. They're just donuts and cupcakes, and then some of them say, you're sweet, cutie. And then they've got some cherries and strawberries down here at the bottom. Like I said, I thought I'd only picked up two, but apparently I picked up three. So I am going to send one of those to my swap partner, and then I'll probably send another to a friend in some happy mail. So then I picked these up also to send to my swap partner. These are glitter foam stickers, and they're hearts and lips. Um, see there? Oh, they're just really cute. So. Then, moving on to Target, I picked up these 5.39 inch doilies in pink. 
the round doilies to add as toppers to some packages. There's 24 in a package. Yeah, 24. And those are just a dollar. I think everything I picked up at Target was just a dollar. Except one thing, and I'll tell you what that was. And then I picked up these V-Mon Tic Tacs. And these are in strawberry and cherry. And I'm also going to send those to my sweat partner. And they have little messages on them. I think they all say be mine. Oh, some of them say I love you. So I just thought those were really cute. Then I picked up some trim. I picked up this little heart trim. It's like a satin trim. It is, does it say how many? Three yards of trim. And see, it's the little individual heart. So you can either use that as one long strand or you can cut off each individual heart, which I liked. Then I did pick up three rolls of the pink pom-pom trim. I love this pink pom-pom trim. It's a lot more expensive usually for three yards than just a dollar. So I did like that little mini pom-pom trim. And I did pick up one whole, whole roll of this to send to my swap partner as an extra goodie. And then two rolls just to have on hand. And then I picked up these I like these to get out my shaker bits and things like that. And I thought it would be really adorable to attach to a little package of sequins and things that I'm going to include in her package for her. And so these were $3. So basically each little scoop is a dollar. I think they're actually intended for like bath salts and stuff, but I just thought they were so cute. So there's those. Then on to Tuesday morning. I picked up this ribbon. This is actually the same color that is in the fabric that I used on my project, but I ended up not using it. But there is, it's 3 16ths of an inch wide by six yards, and it was 99 cents. See, it's got that little edging on the side of it there. So, I love that pink the color I don't quite have in my stash. Then, I was, I've noticed that all my ribbon in my, I've got my ribbon in this huge plastic case that I got at um, Michael's. It was a straight piece of hair, sorry. And um, I noticed that it's all going everywhere. <laughs> and I'm watching one of my subbies channels, Layla Landry. If you haven't checked her out, you might want to. She does some amazing hauls. Um, if I could link a channel below, I would. I have the hardest time with that. I've got to talk to some of my YouTube friends and see if they can help me out with it because I have a hard time. Um, but she had bought some of these little um, safety pin, or um, straight pins to um, attach to her ribbon to keep it in place instead of tape. And I'm like, I never put tape on my ribbon because I hate the idea. So it's all over the place in my ribbon case. And I'm like, ah, straight pins, of course. So I picked up some of these pearl, pearl headed straight pins, and this is a hundred straight pins for 99 cents. So I picked those up for my ribbon. I have some straight pins that I attach to ribbon when I send it out in swaps and they have a cute little tulip at the end, but I didn't have any to attach in my case. Hmm, go figure. So I picked up some of these pink Paisley Aubrey Lane wood veneers and they are frames and there are four of them in here and that's the designs of the frames and even if I don't like the colors I can always just paint over top of them and make them a solid color if need be because they're wood so then I picked up some of this pebbles printed cardstock shape and this is from the Love Me collection. And there are 40 pieces in there. And those are what the pieces that you get in this collection. I love all the little words that were included in this one. Then I found this one. And this is also a Pebbles ephemera collection. And there are 40 pieces in this one. 
And this is from the Me Icon collection. And I just fell in love with the sloth and the foxes and the little hedgehogs. These are adorable. And it's also got a typewriter in there, which I'm a sucker for. So then I picked up some flowers, some white flowers. I picked up, these are called embellishments by American Crafts. There are 12 flowers. They're paper flowers, and these are just some white roses in kind of medium and large size roses. Just plain white roses. There are four, oh, well, I guess there's three sizes. There are four kind of smaller, four medium, and four large roses. And it's hard to see, but they do actually have some little green leaves up underneath of them. Then there are 48 of these paper flowers with pearl centers by American Crafts. And there are 24 larger ones. There are 24 daisies and then 24 of the other type flower, which looks more like a pansy, I guess. So, and I'll show you on the back so you can see the difference in the flowers. There are 24 of each. And then I picked up this other collection. There are 72 of these paper flowers. Some are glittered and they do have the gem centers. And it does show there are 18 of the smaller, 18 of this other one, 18 that have a double flower. There are a kind of an embossed flower and 18 of the others. So there are four different flowers in this collection. And the small ones that look kind of like a shamrocky type flower, which is this one here. Those are the glittered ones. Oops, that's what they look like. Then I did pick up some word stickers. These are by Hello Love by Crate Paper. And these are 87 stickers. And these are just some Valentine's Day words. And I did pick up two packages of these. And that's what those look like. Here, a little closer so you can see them. And they do kind of have an ombre. They go from kind of a light, light pink to a darker pink. Let's pick those up. I picked up some bling. I picked up two different sheets of the, this is a five by seven silver sequin. And this is the one I found the first time. There are 800 adhesive rhinestones in this one by American Crafts. And then I found this one next time. This is the 10 by 10 silver sequins. And there are, uh, does it say? doesn't say how many there are in this one. It just says adhesive rhinestone sheet one. And it's just a 10 by 10 sheet. So that's what that one looks like. So it has to be set for those for a little while. So then I ticked up this adhesive pearl. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this is a five by seven sheet as well. And this is 378, it says. I guess there's 378 pearls on here. Those are kind of a larger pearl. By American Crafts. Then I picked up these vellum envelopes with shaker bits. It's kind of a blue and I think it's a blue, red, and green mix of sequins. Whether I use the sequins or not, it's a different story. But I did like the vellum envelopes, and there are 10 envelopes in there. So pick those up. Then I picked up two sets of these envelopes because I liked them. It's an eight envelope and card set. They're four and a half by five and a half. And they have a, they're embossed with little, like, polka dots. So I kind of like the fact they were already embossed. 
like it goes a step further. The card base is already made for me and it's embossed. So I went ahead and picked up two of those. And I found these card layers by Recollections. It's a glitter metallic. There is a gold, a silver, a white, and a black. And there are four colors and two of each. So that gives me a layering piece for the four and a half by five and a half inch cards. So I kind of like that idea. And it's a shape. It's not like a square. It gives me, and I think I have a die that mimics this as well. Then I did find a stamp, and this is, it's a foam stamp by Momenta, and one says love, and one says XOXO, which the stamp actually looks like, and that's the way it stamps out. So I thought that'd be cute on a card. Then I found a punch by EK, EK Success, or EK Tools, and it's a snowflake punch. And I got so tired of die cutting snowflakes during Christmas and winter. And this kind for like rosettes and wands, this would make my life so much easier. So I went ahead and picked up that snowflake punch. And then I found this by Tim Holtz. And this was just $6.49, so I went ahead and picked it up. I love the typewriter. I looked everywhere for the one from I'm trying to think who that was by. They had a they had one out that was a die. I can't remember who it was from now, but they had one out that was a die that they had out um, that was a typewriter. It was a thinlet die, and. Um, I couldn't find it anywhere and I searched for it high and low and couldn't find it and um, so I went ahead and got the Tim Holtz typewriter die or the um, went ahead and got this one and, I, and it came with the telephone so it's a movers and shapers die so I went ahead and got this because I wanted the typewriter so, then I picked up some things from Hobby Lobby that they had on clearance. I only got one thing that wasn't on clearance, and I'll go ahead and show you what that was. And I saw Happy Mail Queen haul these, and I only picked up one package of them, and I'm not sure if I should have gotten two or not, but I really like them. And I'm not sure I'll use all of them for Valentine's Day, but they are super duper cute. And it's this little teddy bear kit, and they were for Valentine's Day. Here's what they look like. And you kind of make the teddy bear, you put it together. So you can include what you choose to include. So if you choose to put the little heart on him that says love, you can do that. You can put the little bow tie on him. But definitely you want to put the ears, the eyes, and the nose. He already has his nose and face on there, but you definitely put the eyes and the feet. But he can be an any time bear. And you could always use the template for the little bow tie and cut it out in a different color if you wanted to. But yeah, he can be for any occasion and just send somebody a cute little bear. But he's a cute little bear. So I went ahead and picked up a package of four of those. And he was 40% off. So I did only find one of the Tim Holtz Distress Oxides and I found the Spiced Marmalade and it was reduced down to $1.50. So, I know there were lots of people, like I said, um, Layla Landry found a bunch of the Distress Oxides at Hobby Lobby. So jealous, Layla, I'm telling you. So, I did find some of the, um, Dress It Up pieces on clearance and I got the ones that are called harvest time and that's what those look like and then I got three sets of the nostalgic treasures and two of them are the same and one of them is different so I got two sets that are just like this one because I wanted the cherub 
So I got two of those. And then I got one that is like this that has the gold cherub in it instead of the white cherub. And then I got the Memory Mate Easter with the bunnies and the Easter eggs. Then I got the Valentine's Hearts and Arrows embellishments. And this one was not on clearance. I think this one was 40% off. Then I got this here, which was the Trick or Treat one. And I really like this one. It's got candy and the little cemetery thing in the Trick or Treat bag. I really like that one. That one's really cute. And then I got this one, which is the Believe in Fairies collection. And it's got the fairy doors and the little wel fairies welcome sign. I've got a really cute fairies paper collection that I keep meaning to use. So, got those. Then I picked up this Momenta die. And it is a word die. And it has got the words. I'm going to peel the sticker off here so I can. It was originally $12.99, which is the sticker I'm peeling off right here. Um, there we go. It says, hello, shine, sweet, happy, love, smile, fun, live, laugh and hugs and that's what that one looks like and like I said that's about momentum and that's how much that one was then I picked up some Sussex dies I'll show you my favorite find at the very end from Hobby Lobby this one is the Sussex sidekick side order thinlets and fades texture fades this one is the one with the mitten snowflake hat, and it says the word dot. It says snow, <clears throat> and it's got the little sweater uh, texture fade um, embossing folder with it. And that's what that one looks like. And then I picked up another one in that collection. This one says thanks. And it's got the acorn, the pumpkin, and the leaf. And it's got the little wood panel um, embossing folder. These are great for making tags, by the way. These little embossing folders are amazing to make for tags. Then I picked up this one, this framelit with stamp specifics. And this one is called Poinsettia Wreath. That's what that one looks like. And I love the fact that it has this heart and this oval in it, which you can use any time of the year. And it also has one that's ascending love, which would be great on a tag. And the heart would be a, you could use that for Valentine's Day. That would be a great size, a good size heart to use for any time of the year. Then I picked up this Pumpkin Spice Framelit and Thinlet Dye. This one's got Pumpkin Spice and Everything Nice. So that coffee cup would be great to use any time of the year. Um, it has Fall, Autumn Harvest. Um, so the rest of these would be the Steam Stamp and Dye that goes with that. And the coffee cup would be awesome to use any time. And then the rest of those would be pretty much fall related. But some of those you could use just about any time. Then I picked up this one by Caitlin Lazardi. And it is the Envelope Liners Mini. That's what it's called. So it's made for an envelope lining. But it has got... Um, Some really nice pieces on it. It's got the envelope seal. It says North Pole Airmail, special delivery, naughty and nice. To it's got a great to and from, which is one of the reasons I picked it up. It's got a great 
piece that pinches up that says, I believe it says Merry Christmas and enjoy. And it's got some great snowflakes that punch out. So that's what that one looks like. But I love this to and from stamp. And I think that would be amazing any time of the year. Granted, you wouldn't want to use the little frame that comes with it, but the to and from is a nice, I like that um, font on the to and from stamp. So, the, my favorite thing that I got, and I didn't pick these up when they came out because I am really hesitant to buy a die that's $30, even at 40% off. So I did go ahead and pick up the Caitlin Lazardi Biggs die for the Traveler's Notebook. So I do like to make Traveler's Notebooks. I've made them from scratch, um, but I did always want to try this die and at $7, it was a steal. It's actually $7.49, but still, it was a really good buy. So I did go ahead and pick up this Biggs die. And I got the Companion die by Caitlin Lazardi that has 19 dies in it that makes the pockets and the paper clips. It's the Traveler's Notebook inserts and it makes the tabs and everything. So that was also a really great buy at $4.99. So great deal. It's normally $19.99. So the cost of these two dies was less than what I spent on everything I bought, actually. The cost of one die was pretty much less than everything I bought. So I did pick up two things at Dollar Tree when I was there the other day. I found these chop stickers, stickers, and they are like makeup themed. They're super cute. They're beauty themed. I thought they were adorable. They've got like a liquid inside of them. So it makes things float around. They're just so cute. Went ahead and picked those up. And I picked up these iridescent rhinestones. And it's 500 gems. This is over 500 gems. So I went ahead and picked those up. And so they're really pretty because they're iridescent instead of just the clear. So I went ahead and picked those up. So that was everything I picked up from Walmart, Target, Hobby Lobby, or Tuesday morning, Hobby Lobby, and Dollar Tree. That was a mouthful. So if you have any questions about anything I picked up or you have any comments, please leave them below. I love to talk to you guys, as always. I love having you guys as part of my YouTube family. And if you have any friends or family that would be interested in anything that I do or anything that I pick up, please invite them to subscribe to the channel. We would love to have them as part of the family. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon.